G'day folks, just a bit of an update on the lathe. Uh, I've been trying to get the turret to work properly now. Um, I got it to index to its tool point before it was stuck about halfway. Uh, basically it's all got to come off. There's this brass swarf jammed in everything. That's the uh, mechanism that locks the turret into position. And when the turret's retracted all the way, this is supposed to trip a little lever down there is supposed to push it back and disengage and then this thing here is supposed to be operated and fling the turret round to the next position but that's not happening it's gone stuck again there we go this is full of crap I've taken the top off adjusting nut the top cover yeah, a lot of work to do on this one it does turn alright though take off a lot more material than you can on the old south bend. Next step, I'm just going to get the uh, wet dry back in a stiff brush and just suck up all this swarf and crap. Try and get it out of here. Same with down there. Suck all that out. Up in there. Just everywhere. That's what's caused it to jam. Okay, I've got most of the swarf gone, and I'm pulling this uh, turret slide off. This thing here is a gib strip. You use that screw there to push it in a little bit, and it just snugs up against the slide and prevents any slop, free play, that sort of thing. It's like it's been shimmed at one stage, but that should come straight out. It should really push out the back, actually. There we go. That's out. The shim was crushed, so it's uh, just holding it in. That was pretty easy. Now that's out. You can see that oil ways are all gummed up. Everything's gummed up. Take the other side strip off. Okay. Well, now that I've taken a little, loosened these gibs off, and taken that, or loosened these plates off, and taken the gib out, you can actually see how it works. It come loose enough to work. One station, you do your operation. Need a little bit of work, but that'll work all right. obviously come a lot better once it's all back together again and free from this bloody brass. This is what's caused it. They've used compressed air to clean the machine and it's gotten up into the rack and everything. And jammed it all up. Okay, well once I was able to trip that back, the turret came off pretty easy. I just retracted it a little bit and lifted it off. This little jigger here is what spins the turret when you turn it back. It hooks under there and rotates it. A number of pins there which don't seem to line up with anything although then again probably for that that would engage it and stop it going any further something like that it's just a carpet of brass down there still they've obviously used air on this and just blown it all up inside not good but good news is all these turret bearings and things look all right. As you can see, under the, where the turret goes is just a carpet of brass. I've already made $20 emptying the chip pan. <laughs> keep the rest of this stuff together. There's another couple of kilos there. The bearing surface there for one of the trips. That would be the uh, turret disengage trip. That's what pushes the turret around and that's what drives it connected to the hand wheel. Pretty straightforward. That's the underside of the turret slide. Luckily all the springs and things are still intact. 
the rack is just full of brass pieces. They've just been mashed in between the teeth. Looks terrible. That's the underside of the turret. I've given it a quick clean because it appears to have been greased at one stage. Presumably when it left the factory. I don't think this has ever been a part. Um, obviously that's where your turret lock goes in. Locks it between stations. That's what rotates it and obviously that's a turret bearing. Okay, next step is to take this cover off and see why the shaft is still binding up. Try and pull it out and clean it up. There should be a taper pin or something holding that gear on or hopefully just splines. It should just pull straight out. I've got to get that all cleaned up and working again. Okay, that's the way to make the turret gearbox. That's your power feed which should disengage like so. It's all fairly free. It's very free. <laughs> She's seen a lot of work. But that's not. I'd say the main bearing in there has been starved of oil too long and she's just sticking. But it does move. Very slowly. <laughs> okay, well that'll do for tonight. I'm going to let this sit, sit and soak. It has freed up a bit, but it just keeps binding. It's either that or the shaft's bent. Might explain why these have been welded back on. So more than likely the shaft's actually bent. Sticks in one position. Oh well. I'll try and clean it up the best I can before I put it back together. That concludes tonight's little uh, lesson on how to dismantle a turret as well. I'll finish cleaning all this stuff up tomorrow and put it back together again. Thanks for watching.